Hi, my name is Tolly Kay, and I'm the author of the best-selling Survival Guide series, which is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and iBooks. And this is the eighth in a series of instructional films, and today we're going to be talking about the iPod Touch. I'd like to show you ten tips and tricks, which you may not have known uh, because they may be a little bit hidden. So, let's begin. First, I'd like to show you how to take a screenshot on the iPod Touch. Just to give you an example, I'm going to open the Maps app and I'm going to take a screenshot of this map. To do this, you want to press and hold the home button and the power button at the same time. Now when I press them briefly and then release, the screen will flash white very quickly and the screenshot has been captured. Now if you go into your Photos app and into the Camera Roll album, the screenshot will actually appear here. And that is how you take a screenshot on the iPod Touch. Next, I'd like to show you how to insert alternate characters on the iPod Touch, such as an A with an accent mark or an N with a tilde on it. To do this, let's say I'm typing a text message. I'm going to touch and hold the letter, and then I'm going to slide my finger to the character I'd like to insert. Let go of the screen, and the character is inserted. And that is how you insert alternate characters on the iPod Touch. If you've ever tried to delete a lot of text, you know it can be a hassle. You have to hold down the backspace key, you know, and then uh, wait for it to delete all the text. Well, there's actually a hidden trick, it's very handy, that you can use to delete a lot of text at once. To do this, I'm going to give you an example by opening the Messages app. So let's say I've typed a long message, some kind of incoherent message, and now I'd like to delete all of the text. Well, to do this, I'm just going to take it off here to demonstrate. You're going to want to shake the iPod really hard. Just give it, give it a few good shakes until you see this menu appear. And when you see this menu, touch Undo Typing, and all of the text that you just typed is deleted. And you can actually use this in any application. Now you can always redo the typing if you change your mind. Similarly, we're going to give the iPod a good shake, and then this menu will appear. I'm going to touch Redo Typing, and all of the text that you have just typed reappears again. That is how you delete a lot of text at once on the iPod Touch. Next, I'd like to show you how to customize the Music app, formerly known as the iPod app. There's a very handy thing you can do. I'm going to touch the music icon here and I'm going to show you. You see these navigation icons at the bottom? Well, they can actually be customized. To do that, touch more, the bottom right corner of the screen, and then touch the edit button up at the top left. And when this screen appears, you can touch and hold any of these icons and drag them to the bottom. And when you drag it over an icon, we will replace it. And that way you can actually customize which navigation icons appear at the bottom of the screen. One other thing you can do is you can rearrange these. So if you touch and hold one of these and drag it, you can rearrange it and place it in another location. And that is how you customize navigation icons in the Music app. If you're someone who uses the camera often on the iPod Touch and wants to capture things at a moment's notice, this next trick is definitely for you. You can actually capture photos without ever unlocking the phone. To do this, I'm going to lock the phone to demonstrate. I'm going to press the power button again to make the screen light up. And then press the home button twice quickly. And this icon will appear at the bottom right. I'm going to touch it, and the camera turns on. You can take a picture of my hand here. Touch this button at the bottom, and a picture is taken. And you can always touch this thumbnail at the bottom left of the screen to view a preview of the picture you just took. And then you can touch this blue button to return to the camera. And that is how you take a picture from the lock screen on the iPod Touch. The next tip I'd like to show you is a great shortcut when you're using the camera to get to and from the Photos app. So let's open the camera. 
Let's say I'm using the camera here, and I like to get to the Photos app quickly. Well, I can touch the screen and slide it to the right. And there's that picture of the hand that I took. And I can always get back to the camera quickly. I slide it to the left, and the camera opens again. Now that's how you access the Photos app quickly from the camera app. If you're big on texting, you probably know all about emoticons. Well, on the iPod Touch, you can actually insert emoticons, such as smiley faces or even clip art, into messages and other text fields. To do this, you first need to add the emoji keyboard. And we're going to touch Settings, and then touch General. I touch and scroll down to where you see Keyboard. I'm going to touch that. And then International Keyboards. Now touch Add New Keyboard. And we're going to scroll down until we see Emoji. I'm going to touch that. And the Emoji keyboard has been added. Now I'm going to press the Home button to go back. And touch the Messages app to demonstrate. What you want to touch is this button right next to the space bar, right to the left. Looks like a globe. And it will switch to the next keyboard. And if that is the Emoji keyboard, and that is what will appear. And you can touch any of these emoticons to insert them. And there are actually several tabs of emoticons which you can get to by uh, touching here at the bottom. And within each tab are more emoticons too. So you can slide to the left or right to access those. And while I demonstrated this in the Messages app, you can actually access the emoji keyboard in any text field any application that supports it. And that is how you insert emoticons on the iPod Touch. Have you ever looked at the battery icon at the top right and wondered what is the actual battery percentage remaining? Well, you can't turn that on on the iPod Touch, but there is a way around it. You can actually check it by using VoiceOver, which will pronounce the battery percentage. So to turn VoiceOver on, then touch Settings, and then touch General and then touch Accessibility and touch VoiceOver. Now when you touch the off switch, VoiceOver is turned on. VoiceOver on. Settings. VoiceOver. Accessibility. Back button. I just wanted to let her finish. And then when you touch the battery icon at any time now, it will actually pronounce the exact battery percentage. 60% battery power. Status bar item. Swipe down with three fingers to reveal the notification center. Double tap to scroll to top. And that is how you check the exact battery percentage on the iPod Touch. If you often find yourself oh. listening to music on the iPod and then leaving it on and having the battery die on you by accident, you can actually set a sleep timer for the iPod for the music application. To do this, touch clock and then touch Timer, which is at the bottom right of the screen. And here where it says When Timer Ends, we're going to touch this, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and touch Sleep iPod. Touch Set at the top right. And now you can set a timer. So let's say I want to set it for two hours, zero minutes. Touch the green Start button. And now when this timer ends, the iPod will go to sleep, and the music application will be shut down. And that is how you set a sleep timer for the iPod. The final tip I'd like to show you comes in handy if your iPod ever freezes. You can perform a soft reset to get it back to the way it was. To do this, press and hold the power button and the home button at the same time, and keep holding. We're going to keep holding until this screen appears, and now just keep holding. And then once the Apple logo appears, you can release both buttons and just wait for the iPod to restart and you should be good to go. And those are all the tips I have for you today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. Or you can buy the iPod Touch Survival Guide, which is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and iBooks. And you can click one of the links in the description to purchase that or any other survival guide which you may need which cover everything from e-readers to phones to tablets. Thank you again for watching, and see you next time.